Sports. We expected these two teams to put up a fight, and we have seen that, and we expect more going into Game 4. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. This is what you're playing for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Favors moving the puck through his own zone. Directed over to Kaprizov. What a great read breaking up the pass. And he slides it quickly to Miller. Nice feed from the right wing. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Hard hit, frees up the puck. With possession along the wall. Now a quick pass to Hughes. And he hits one of his own teammates with that shot. The Canucks play it along the boards. Takes the feed at the point. Dishes it to Kaprizov. Play whistle dead offside the call. Brodine's been showing some frustration. You know, when you want to contribute as an athlete, especially when you have a strong skill set, and then you're in a pointless streak, man, the frustration grows and it builds, and you start to squeeze the stick tight. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. Into the offensive end, right off the middle. Feeds the puck over to Middleton. And he slides it quickly to Boldy. That's a good heads up play at center ice. Shuts him down. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, and another save. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflex. And play on as it goes up the inside of the post. Minnesota's got it against the boards. Loses his balance on the play. Picked up along the boards by Myers. Pass taken behind the goal. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Garland's got it against the boards. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Here's a pass in front. And that goes off a body and a ride. Change up, change up. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Oh, the referee's going to call that one. Quick feed to Dayarnay. And the puck stopper tags this man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Here comes the call. Boyd's going off for slashing. I'm working off the 1-3-1 sequence. 
sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. They're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Hughes has been putting on a clinic in terms of the stats column. He has just been putting up incredible numbers on this point streak, and his confidence is just showing every time he shoots the puck. Taken along the wall by Sprong. Redirected off one of his own line mates there. Scores! And there's another power play goal! Wow, the practice makes perfect. You know that they've been working on this in practice. They've got the right personnel, the coaching staff, the show them video of how they want it executed, and they deliver tonight. Well, I'm surprised the goaltender didn't flinch on this one. I know that if I was getting out on the coverage, I'd be flamingoing all night long, James, because he's absolutely tagged this one. He had time, he had space, and he got all of it. They're trailing in this game, and they've been on a losing streak, and they're trying to just orchestrate some kind of energy, and the coach behind the bench isn't having any of it right now because he's frustrated. Frustrated at the result, but also frustrated at the process, trying to find a way to get his team activated. Vancouver's opened things up here at the first as a result of their offense tonight. Minnesota's won the draw in the neutral zone. Good defensive stop with the poke check. The Canucks gain possession on their own end. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And it's kicked away. Stones him in front. Demko's going to hang on for the whistle here. It's been a whole hot night for him. No, it really has. He hasn't been tested, but it is a close game, and he's got to come up big. He has to stay dialed in and focused in this one. Still lots of time left in the period. The Canucks have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. The Wild have the puck in their own end. And it's a quick pass to Eric Sinek. Great forecheck by Miller. Here's a short pass to Zuccarello. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Vancouver's moving it into the offensive end. Oh, and it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Oh, wow, devastating hit there. Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. Oh, stops it with the glove. Great reflexes there. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Canucks lead this one 2 zip. Boyd's won the draw. Great defensive stick work on the play. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. Boyd's won the face-off here in the offensive zone. And that... Oh, tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Well, as play continues, can you feel the love tonight? Listen to this place here, Cheryl. I can feel it. You can feel it. And he can feel it after that last save because you know what fans appreciate? They appreciate effort, James, and that's how that save was made. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Tries to get it to Brodeen. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Puck picked up by Trenton. And he throws it wide of the net. Oh, this is a tough game, and you got to fight for your scoring chances, James, and this just seems like a waste when he misses wide. Quick pass to Trenton. And now he moves it quickly to Merrill. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. And the puck skips away after that move. Goudreau is close to finding a hole there, and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had, and the play dies. have been rewarded with the lead here late in this first period with all the shots they put on net. Suters won the draw inside his own end. Dumps it into the ozone. 
The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. Pinned up along the boards. And the puck's booted away. Sends a pass over. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Suter's last play was a tough one, James. He loses his balance, which makes it difficult for him to corral the puck and get it off with precision. But he makes the play. Tries to feed it over to DeBrusque. Slides the puck to Besser. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. And now it's grabbed by Eric Sinek. Minnesota's across the blue line. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Besser. Takes the feed from the left side. Takes a shot. Scores! Just before the period closes, Cheryl, absolutely huge. The last few minutes of a period are essential, and they go to the dressing room with needed momentum. Glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Vancouver's won it. Looks to get the puck over to Garland. There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. Just moments away from the start of period number two. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Canucks are being rewarded for getting pucks and funneling them through to the net, James. They're not on the perimeter, they're looking to attack. And somehow he hangs on. Moves it to Miller. Now a quick pass to Hughes. Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Loses the coverage there. Fires it! Great glove save by Tempo. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's why you see from a young age them working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Gains the zone through center. Moves it to the middle. He scores! What a goal! Well, he does a great job of getting to position net front James, and then with a quick flick of the wrist, he buries it. Taking a two-goal lead here in the second. That's a huge goal. That's going to give him a two-goal cushion. You can see the excitement on the bench right now. That's all it takes to have an impact. They put it in the net. Now they can take a deep breath and go play with creativity. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Sends it down low. Moves the puck down low. Picked up along the wall by Hartman. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. To his teammate! Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Vancouver's crossed the line and on the attack. Dishes it off! And that shot gets blocked by one of his own teammates. Can't hang on to the puck after taking it off. Rossi's twig snaps in two and he gets back to the bench to get a new one in back into the play. Takes the feed at center for the right wing. Too many bodies in the way. He 
Feeds it over from the slot. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Vancouver's been rewarded for their high activity in the offensive zone with lots of shots, and they lead it here in the second. The Canucks win the draw. And he gets in front of that. And he slides it quickly to Zuccarello. And now he tries to get it across to Kaprizov. What a fantastic read and push to get cross crease to make the save. The Canucks gain the zone. Takes a shot. Great save by Gustafson. Taken by Bogosian. Slides it across to Kaprizov. Slides it across. And kept that one out of the net. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. The Canucks are up 3-1. Millers won a big draw on their own end. Big hit on the board. Well, he was so aggressive on this one, James. He recognizes that he's got to close and then shoulder on shoulder. This is a clean hit and disrupts the player from the puck. That's a beauty. Dumps the puck in. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Works it across to DeBrusk. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Moves it quickly over to forward. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Across the line from center. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Big time stop there. Demko has been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the crease, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going more. Puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it again. And it's a quick pass to Miller. Oh, great move to sidestep the check. Denies him on the one-timer! The Canucks have a decided edge in the shot department and also in the score as well here in the second. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Here's a pass in front, and that goes off a stick. The Canucks gain control of the puck. The Wild have the puck in the open ice. Quick feed to Faber. Demko's gonna hang on for a whistle. Well past the midway mark of this period, the Canucks have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. Patterson's won the draw here in their own zone. Slides it to Garland. And now he moves it quickly to Sprong. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. Here's a short pass to Eric Sinek. Avoids the poke check and maintains possession. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck. He's got a step! Oh, denies him on the play! Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Here in the late goings of the period, 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Merrill's got it in the defensive end. Great read with the stick. Scores! And there's the counter punch we were looking for, Cheryl, as they answer back. Well, they answer back and they take the win or the momentum out of their opponent's sails. This is exactly what they needed to get back on the board and get the momentum shift back in their favor.
Minnesota's got one back now. Can they build on this from here? They need to build on it. This is an emotional goal as the second period is coming to an end, and they have to find a way to continue this momentum and build on top of it as they hit the third. The Wild have the puck in the open ice. Hartman's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Sends the pass in front. The shot! Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. And now he moves it to Hoaglander. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Bogosian. They fight for it along the boards. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. Shuts him down. Merrill's gaining momentum. Grabbed along the boards by DeBrusque. Quick pass across to Miller. And he's knocked off the puck there. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. 
Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Faber stick handling in his own zone. Passes it over to Boldy. Feeds it over on the rush. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. And now it's grabbed by Besser. Puck scooped up by DeBrusk. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Handles the pass. And he's ridden off the puck. And he takes the pass. Shot. Gets a piece of it and will play on. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Vancouver's done a wonderful job putting a lot of pucks on net, and they lead it early in this third period. The Canucks will go to work here in the offensive zone. Gets a glove on it. Sends it quickly to Foligno. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Along the half wall with the puck. Picked up along the boards by Foligno. Huge steal in his own end. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Denied by the puck stopper. That's an unbelievable save. A great ace scoring chance taken away as he flashes the lever and makes the stop. Vancouver showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period of big time. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? By the way, call that friendly fire as it goes off one of his teammates. Poked away in the offensive zone by Caprizov. Denies the slapper. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. The Canucks are in transition. Broken up in the neutral zone by Eric Sinek. And he slides it quickly to Zuccarello. Slides that one right across the blue line. Oh, much respect as he blocks that one. Feeds it over to Hoaglander. Nice zone entry from the middle. And they keep the pressure on. Takes it to the front. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. Passed up ahead. Textbook poke check by Bogosian. Back to the point it goes. Quick feed to Myers. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. The Canucks have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. Minnesota's got the win off that draw. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Brennan's feeling that, and someone's going to the box. Angles it over to Faber. And here comes the judgment from the official. Well, he's frustrated with this call, and he's going to argue it with the official, but guess what? It's going to be a call. It's not getting changed. Minnesota's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Boldy's taking it from his own end. And he gives it over to Johansson. And he coughs it up with the pass. And he comes up with it. Minnesota's got the puck. Hartman's lugging the puck. Across the line along the left wall. Taken along the wall by Horonic. Trying to clear the zone. And they get the puck out, and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. Bluger's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. ready to take the draw here on this power play. 
The Canucks will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Great reach with the poke kick. Oh, what kind of save play! Canucks can simply take this on cruise control based on the lead that they now have here in the third. Pluger's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Ten seconds left. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Tip toes around the poke check. And the power play unit comes up empty on that one. You can have all the ozone possession time on a power play in the world and you don't convert, why? Right? Because that's where you have it, on the outside. You have to find ways to create seams, diagonal lines to the net, be able to shoot off the pass and get scoring opportunities. The Canucks have been peppering shots on goal all night long and they continue to lead in the third. Miller's won the faceoff. The Canucks will play it from the defensive zone and tries to make a diagonal pass to DeBrusk. Coughs up possession of the puck. The Canucks have it now. Pass to Foligno. Johansson's got it in the offensive zone. Scores! Well, they needed something, and that clearly was something, Cheryl. That certainly was, and there's some pushback, but they're gonna need to layer it because they gotta get closer than within two if they wanna find a way back in this game. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. The Wild have finally shown a sense of urgency in this third period. Yeah, it's called playing with desperation. When you know your back's up against the wall, you have to fight to get off it, and they'll have to use everything in them to claw their way back into this one. Puck picked up by Spurgeon. Here's a short pass to Johansson. Takes a shot, and he catches that one with the glove. Late goings of this period. Minnesota's got to find a way to get a few more goals here as they still trail by a pair. The Canucks come up with the defensive zone draw. Slides it diagonally to DeBrusque. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Broken up at center by Miller. And that goes off a player in front. Picked up along the wall by Merrill. Taken by Boldy. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Quick pass to Bogosian. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. The Wild have it in their own zone. Moves it to Merrill. Dished on over to Hartman. Oh, what a smart heads up play. And that's deflected off someone in front. Tries to get the puck to Pedersen. Quick pass to Garland. Here's a shot. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Big save by the goaltender. Gustafson's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night, and he recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistake. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Johansson swooping in on the attack. Shot! And that's denied by Demko. They need a goal here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice. Feeds it to Johansson. Keeps control of the puck after taking a little knock. Into the offensive end now. Fires to the empty net.
Reigns won the draw at center. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Here's a blast! Denies him! He got all of it! Grabbed along the board by Brodeen. The Canucks are looking to close things out. They have been dominant all night and they continue to lead late in the third. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Carries it in. Shot! Just around the corner, and we hope to see you then. Good night.